Here we have an address function that is similar to the person function from the previous video. It accepts a lambda with receiver as argument that operates on an address class. We can call it the following way, where we provide the lambda as argument and where we set the data fields directly. Let's nest the address call under the person call like this. This will compile, but the address call is not connected to the person and the produced address will not be stored. To fix this, we can make address an extension function on the person class by saying person.address. We also need to assign the produced address to the address data field of the person object. The this keyword refers to the person object being extended and is not mandatory. And that's our third building block for the Kotlin DSL.